Athletes, welcome back. Get up off that couch, get up off of that chair. We got some hamstring work, we got some burpees. I got Lily and David with me. We're about to go, let's get it. Your warm up is starting now. We got 10 seconds on the clock. We got Lily and David. We are gonna get right into this. We've got a mix of RDLs and burpees for today. So first thing that athletes are gonna start with is both legs on the floor. We're gonna take those hands and slide them down our legs just like this for our RDLs. I want athletes to go through 30 seconds of this. We're going through our full range of motion, keeping our chest up throughout the movement and making sure we don't round out our back. This is gonna prep our hamstrings for the work that we're about to do on our single legs. Athletes will continue to work through these reps. We got 10 seconds left. After that, we are gonna go into our burpee variations. We've got three, two, one. We're gonna go into burpees. On these first burpees, you're on ice. So I want you to go down to the floor with your burpee and don't slip on the ice. I know what, nice and controlled. David has practiced this many, many times in his life. Lily is new to the ice burpee, but she picked it up pretty quick. So again, we're working our way through this range of motion, making sure that we're getting all the way down to the floor, chest contacting, and then you're gonna stand all the way up. At the top, you're still on ice, so I just want you to get full extension and control it through. We've got three, two, one. Athletes are gonna stand up. We're going into our single leg variations on our RDLs. So Lily's gonna use her dumbbell as a target. We've got David using his chair for his chair assisted RDLs. Athletes are gonna start working through the reps and go for it. Alternating legs here. Again, the same form that we used before. We're gonna keep our chest up, back is straight. The single leg is now going to have our working leg on the floor. Our other leg is gonna go out for counterbalance. I want you guys to focus on keeping hips even. Do not rotate out one side to another. We're at our 30 second mark. Now we're gonna go back into our burpees. At this point, if you guys are gonna be doing the burpees where you're going to go to our modified burpee, David is still doing his burpees on ice. Lily's gonna go through regular burpees here. She already has her line marked on the floor for the workout. So you guys can do this and get yourself prepped so that we're ready to go straight into our workout. Great job, David. I love this control, wonderful. Athletes have five, three, two, one, and we are going straight into our workout. Grab your water, get whatever you need because we are starting now. And we are getting directly into our workout. We got 10 seconds on the clock. Athletes are going into 27, 21, 15 of our arts and alternating RDLs and our burpee variations. And go! David is doing our chair assisted RDLs here. Single leg for both athletes. We're using this with the chair in case we have issues with our balance or we don't feel completely confident with this movement. David is specifically focusing on keeping his hips balanced. So if we do these away from the chair, we see a large turnout on his hips. We wanna pull the chair in so that we can think about keeping ourselves square. We've got Lily going down to a dumbbell. This can be a target of any height as long as you can make it to that target and still maintain a straight back all the way down. When we go through this, if we find that we're compromising position, we need to raise that height up. If you don't have a target, that's fine. Use a landmark on your body either quads, knees, mid shin, and you're gonna go down that far so that that's where we're gonna end our range of motion and stand back up. Athletes are working through 27 reps here. This is 27 total. So as they're counting, they're going one, two, three, four, until we get to that 27 mark. After that, athletes will be going into their burpee variations. David is doing a fantastic job of extending that back leg for counterbalance. When you guys do this, make sure that we're not excessively driving that leg up to the ceiling because it's simply to keep us from falling over. Lily has taken the lead on this workout. David's feeling the heat right now. Lily's got her line facing burpees. She's going down, making sure that she gets full contact with her chest and the floor, and then she's gonna go over the line. With the line, you can do what Lily's doing, which is a little skip step. That is not a two foot takeoff, two foot landing, but it's also not a step over. So with open standards last year, there was no two foot standard of the takeoff and landing. So this is a great way to prep for the open, whichever version you're gonna be doing. We got David over here doing his modified burpees. Now a modified burpee is using whatever you need to to get down to the floor. For David, he's standing tall and then he's stepping back. He's lowering himself down. He's pushing up to his knees and then stepping up again. We're gonna see a nice knee push up here. And then he steps up with that leg. Again, 
If you can't quite figure out the modified burpee and it's not making sense to you, give yourself the cue of being an extra in Frozen and you're doing burpees in the background and you don't want to fall while you're on film, so we're doing burpees on ice. That's what we're looking for. That's actually the name of David's interpretive dance routine that he does, but we'll talk about that in our next episode. Athletes are still working through their 27 reps on their burpees here. We're keeping a pace that we can maintain the entire time. So if you guys are starting out too hot and you can tell you're already gonna have to slow down, slow your pacing down now. Think about driving a stick shift. We're going first gear, second gear. Don't go into a gear that we're gonna redline at. If you're gonna redline, I hardly ever say this, but I will allow you to do that towards the back end of our 15s, which is at the end of the workout. We still got a lot of work left to do. 27 burpees is a lot. 21 burpees is a lot. 15 burpees is a lot. So we need to make sure that we keep that in the tank so that we can really push at the end. Lily and David are doing a fantastic job of keeping the same pace across. I know they know exactly what reps are on. David, where are you at? 23, Lily? 27, uh, Lily is still maintaining this lead. David's feeling the heat right now. We're moving back to our RDLs. We've got Lily on her dumbbell. Again, this can be any target that you want. One thing that I do want to specifically cue Lily on is, is that I want her to give me control throughout the motion. So technically, she should be able to hold her end range of motion for just a second and then come back up. Great job, Lily. I want you guys to do that as well. This movement is very easy to use the momentum to kind of get yourself in and out of it, but I wanna see control throughout. So we're really isolating on our hamstrings and our glutes here. If you don't feel that in that position, I want you to slow your reps down, find the end range, hold that, and then come back up for just a second. We don't have to hold for very long. David's doing a fantastic job of using the chair for assistance as little as he needs to. So if you guys are using a chair and you find yourself holding on to it the entire time and using that for your range of motion, do that if you need it for your balance. If you feel like you can start to go a little bit more independent from the chair, use fingertips to place on the chair so that you're using that for just the amount of assistance that you need. Athletes are working on their 21s right now. You guys are doing great at home. Stay with us here, keep moving, keep that nice steady pace. Lily is on to her burpees. David is finishing up his RDLs to his chair. After we're done with this, we've got our 21s, and then we're going into 15. Lily is using her step-up method on her burpee, which is a fantastic piece to do. On this next burpee that she does, I'm gonna have her jump up out of her burpee right here which is another option. It's gonna give you a little bit of a faster cycle time, but it's also gonna take the breath out of you. So find what you can use that's gonna allow you to maintain. If you find that you're faster on the jump up version, I wanna see that during your set of 15. So the one that we have at the end, we'll try to push the pace there. David is doing a wonderful job on his burpees on ice once again. I think that we're just gonna change the name of the movement from modified to burpees on ice. <coughs> One thing that I will cue David on is that when he steps up out of this burpee, I want him to alternate which leg he steps up with, which he just did. I didn't even have to say it for him. If you guys are doing this step up variation out of your burpee, stepping up is gonna keep you balanced. If you tend to have a lower back that gets tied on you, alternating those legs is gonna give you great balance so that that way you're gonna equally place the load on either side of your back. Lily is still doing that little skip hop over her line, which is a completely valid form to do here. If you guys don't feel comfortable with a skip or a jump, you're always allowed to step over that line. If you don't have enough space in your apartment, your garage, wherever you're at, you can do these in place and do regular burpees, but we really do wanna have this burpee over the target if you have that option. Lily is on to her final round of 15s. This is the point where I'm gonna tell Lily and I'm gonna tell you at home that are keeping pace with her, you can start to push the pace here, but do not cheat the range of motion. Do not cheat your form. Those are the two most important things that we do here. If you can maintain quality of movement, then we can start to step on the gas a little bit. Lily's going down to that dumbbell, doing a great job of using her back leg as a counterbalance. David is right behind her. He's stepped up to his chair. He's ready to try to make it neck and neck right here. Moving through these reps, I'm gonna tell David to give me a little bit more control. I want the same thing from you guys at home. Just because we're on the last set here doesn't mean that you can get lazy with your form. 
give me perfect reps. If you were selling these at the farmer's market, I would want to buy these RDLs. So please, show me quality here, show me quality. I don't want to make David sweat any more than he is, but Lily is on to her burpees, so she's laying down the gauntlet right here. I know that David's smiling, but on the inside, he's yelling at himself, he's pushing. I want you guys to push. If you're in pace with Lily right now, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can already tell she's starting to speed up here. She's doing a, a step up and jump combo on these burpees, so she's ready to be done with these. We got David finishing up on these RDLs, 15 total, and then he is into his burpees. Great job, guys, let's go. Everybody at home, this is our last set. If you guys are currently finishing up your 21s, get your mind right for this set of 15. If you guys are on your 15s, push with us right here. We gotta go, we gotta go. I want you to get it into third, fourth, fifth gear right now. So this is the point where we finish the trip. I don't want any gas left in the tank. You gotta go, you gotta move. This is the last piece that we have, and then you get to enjoy the rest of the day. So you showed up, you have done the hard part, it's all downhill from here. Keep giving it to me, keep pushing, keep pushing. Great job, Lily. We got David working through these burpees on ice. Let's go, brother, keep moving. David is pushing the pace here, but still maintaining the same form he's had throughout. Again, when I have you push the pace, that means that you can't drop on that form. I wanna see form because that impresses me more than intensity. Once you get the form down, add the intensity on top of that, and that's where we get some fitness. So let's go, David. David is finishing up his final reps. I see you guys at home. Keep giving it to me. I love everything that you've given to me so far. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I know you wanna stop. I know you wanna count that as your last rep, but you got a couple more, keep going with it. Fantastic job, we are done here. David, great job. Lily, great job. Stick around for the cool down. It's one of the most important parts of the day. Thank you guys. Athletes, we wanna thank you once again for showing up, doing the work with us. It's always a pleasure hosting you guys, myself, and our athletes that we have here. Love you joining us with these every single day. If you guys are not a part of the Mayhem Athlete community, it is a fantastic group of like-minded individuals that all have different fitness goals in mind. From bodybuilding to CrossFit to body weight movements, we have everything that you could possibly need for your fitness needs. So if you're not a part of the community, please join us today. We've got our cool down coming up, so I always want you guys to stick around for that. And remember, be kind, be a good person, and let's show up again tomorrow for another great day of fitness. Thank you.